In this video, we're going to take a look at how easy it is to integrate Cisco AMP for endpoints into Cisco Secure X. So on the screen here, we can see a blank canvas for Cisco Secure X. And what we're going to do is we're going to integrate our AMP for endpoints into Cisco X. So essentially we have a dashboard here where we can have uh, or we can view um, data from AMP for endpoints. So we'll first go across to accounts once logged into AMP for endpoints. We'll go to API credentials. And what we need to do is we need to generate some new API credentials. So we'll just click new API credentials and then we can give it a name. So we'll give it secure X as a name. And then we can specify read only or read and write. For this demo, we'll specify read only and we'll create. You will now have your API client ID and API key. As it says at the top, you need to make sure that you keep these details hidden, encrypted and away from anybody that doesn't require access to them. Hence the reason it's currently not showing on the screen here. Once you've got your API credentials, take them and go across to Secure X. Click on Integration Modules. And now we need to find AMP for endpoints. If we go across to Available Integration Modules, you can see here that we have got M for endpoints. So we'll click new module and now it's asking for your third party API client ID from AMP for endpoints that we've just generated along with the API key. Act in the name of active user. You need to specify read and write when you generate the API key in order for this to uh, work. So we'll just not enable this for this demonstration. Now my API client ID and API key have been added. Now what I should be able to do is click save and we should get a message saying that it's successfully been added. So we'll dot save. So there we go. So the, the this has been integrated um, and there's no issues. And that's pretty much it. So now if we go to dashboard again and we want to add a tile I already have a, a test dashboard, dashboard created here. You can create a new one if you want. And we can see available tiles. So we can see AMP for endpoints now. And then we've got different things that we can select to uh, show on the dashboard. I will select all of them and then I'll click save. And as you can see, just like that now, we have the AMP for endpoints data uh, now being shown on Cisco Secure X dashboard. So you can ch change the time frames for, for these. Um, you can do it either on each individual uh, widget if you like, or you can see at the top here time frame. So we can do a maximum available and it's changed them all to 30 days. And that's as simply how you add. And that's simply how you ha add Cisco AMP for endpoints to Cisco SecureX. It's as simple as that. Thank you for watching.